Dr. Billy D here from innatewater.com with our resident water scientist, Mark Soltinsky. So today we're talking about the removal of heavy metals, which really comes from just some of the plumbing aspects of soldering, pipes together, uh, you know, air pollution, chemtrails. Uh, and we're also talking about the pharmaceuticals which are in the water because of the treatment plants just can't get that stuff out anymore. So we're seeing high levels of heavy metals in the water. We're seeing high levels of pharmaceuticals in your drinking water and the water you bathe and we'll talk about that later. But our system is one of the only systems out there that really pulls out the metals and it pulls out the pharmaceuticals at the same time as creating uh, pH, we elevate the pH of the water. So what is it about our system that really pulls the metals out well, and pharmaceuticals out? Uh, there, is very, there is practically at this moment is known two technologies which are able to remove pharmaceuticals especially. One is reverse osmosis and the other one is specially prepared activated coconut carbon uh, which has to be rated for pharmaceuticals. Our system has both of those technology included in, in the system and will remove. Okay, perfect. So, number one, we provide a system that pulls out not only the fluoride, the chloramines, the chloride, but it pulls out pharmaceutical drugs and heavy metals, and then it's remineralized and then it's alkalized. And our systems are very reasonable price compared to our competitors out there, the electrical systems which do not pull out a lot of these toxins and at the same time we we provide a superior product at a fraction of the cost some of these systems are upwards of four or five thousand dollars our system is very reasonable price at 897 and we also have wholesale prices for doctors if you purchase two or more systems you can find us at innatewater.com or you can go to the phone and call 949-250-0600 and contact us there signing off with Mark Slopinski. Thank you so much.